what to see, what to rent, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. That's right. We're back now with nationally syndicated radio movie film critic Ryan J. And today he's looking at the new Terminator movie, the new Magic Mike, and Aloft. Is that right? Hi, Ryan. It's absolutely right. Yay. Hello. <laughs> you nailed it. I love what you're wearing. It goes so well with so the great. movie that we're going to talk so about in just stinky. a little bit. Some, some little people who have their own movie. Yes. Let's start first, though, with Terminator Genesis. We were talking about how some theaters in town are replaying you know, the original right. and stuff, which is kind of fun for people mm -hmm. to get reacquainted with it. Yeah, well, um, and this is a reboot, but it's also an interquel, which means it's a prequel and a sequel because it takes place before, during, and after the original An Terminator. An interquel. Oh, yes. I've never does heard that mean, of that. Does that mean they take some of the original material and reshow it? There are it? winks and nods. Okay. No, they don't take anything from those films, but they reenact things from a different perspective than okay. you saw in the first film, and so it's really cool that way. Okay. okay. So so this is sort of like sci-fi, then? It is. It's a subgenre of sci-fi okay. okay. that's called uh, cyberpunk, which oh. I learned about for this film. Okay. Movies like RoboCop, Blade Runner, Strange Days, and yeah. it's, it's a sci-fi movie that is high tech and low life, meaning that the big technology in the film kind of destroys lives. Oh. How are the effects? Because I feel like that's what these sort of movies have to rely on, right? Very cool, actually. Yeah. There's this like liquid metal character that's some of the coolest innovation like effect I've ever seen before. So I really enjoyed the effects in this movie. The 3D is a 3D conversion. Usually that doesn't look very good, but it's extremely well done. One of the best I've seen in the 3D is excellent in this film. So you okay. saw it in 3D? Yes. Okay. What about the girls in the audience? Because I always wonder when I look at a movie like this, I'm always kind of like, I wouldn't be into this. This is totally one for the fanboys. You know? oh, okay. But there is okay. a subplot for the girls where the character of Sarah Connor has to kind of slowly come around to like trusting and loving a guy, and then he slowly comes around to her. So I like that. So there is okay. a little bit of something there for the girls. Little okay. something. Little, a little nugget. So will this then still for, allow for a sequel? How does you that work? You know what's work? really interesting about this is regardless of how it does at the box office this weekend, Paramount has already greenlit parts two and three. Really? They're moving wow. forward. This will be a trilogy. It's a full-on reboot. I like this. I say see it. It's definitely worth seeing in the theater. And they're going to be coming out with a couple more. So go. Is Arnold in it? He That's is. what I was going to ask. Yeah. And he does is. he say his famous line? Of course. Box. Yes, of course Alder he does. Box. And it's great It's great casting for him because he doesn't really have to act much. He plays no. a robot. He just deadpans the whole movie. You know? <laughs> All right. If you Perfect. haven't, um, if you're friends with Ryan J on Facebook, you've got to see the video of he and Michael oh, Weiss going to see it yesterday because yeah. it's super funny and he does an impersonation. He, of he really does. Really fun. Yeah, awesome. He's a great impression. Yeah. I don't know if you heard us te teasing Magic Mike XXL a little while ago because mm -hmm. we thought maybe you were in this movie. Yeah, we, we thought were just we wanted you. I would do it. I would yeah. totally drop Trout to be in Magic Mike. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Who wouldn't? That'd be great. How does it compare to the first? I actually liked it better than the first one. Oh, you it's did? It's not a better film, let me just tell you. Okay. This is completely okay. different. The first one was a drama and it was a kind of a gritty art film directed by Steven Soderbergh. And it, it was, you know, it wasn't really about the dancing, it was about yeah. the story. And Matthew McConaughey is not in the sequel. Right. And I really don't like what they did with the script and the story and how they how they wrote him out because it's very contrived, it's very fake. This script is very clunky, mm. it's very cheesy, it's over the top. Oh. It's kind of fun. It's more funny than dramatic. And like for the first hour of the film, I was like, this movie is terrible. I'm gonna say rent it. It's not a, you know that great, but. But oh, wow. okay. Well, a lot of people said, okay, so we see all these like mm -hmm, in the in mm -hmm. the teases and whatnot, and then everybody said there wasn't a lot of that in the movie, kind of like you said, the first it's more one, about yeah. yeah. The first one wasn't sexy. So how's you know? the dancing in this one? Is there it's more? Awesome. Yeah. The last thirty minutes are so amazing that I'm like, you gotta you gotta see this movie. It's just so for the end. Yeah, just show it for the last thirty minutes. It's everything you want. As a matter of fact, it's so racy. This is oh, real so dirty dancing. Yay! Not like the movie dirty dancing. This movie has dirty dancing. I blushed more watching Magic Mike Double XL than I did watching Fifty Shades of gray. No way. Whoa. Yes, there this is where you're, you know, this is the, the racy stuff. That's what you this want. Movie. Yes, this is what you want. So. Okay, so in the end, how did you how are you rating it? I'm rating it, see it. Even it's a terrible movie, but the dancing <laughs> is so good. The last half hour, the last half hour is all you want. Let's face it. You don't care whether or not the script is good, whether or not any of these guys can act no. because Joe Manganiello, you know, like you're going for yeah, the abs he's so in the back. Exactly. Candy. It's full on everything you want in the last 30 minutes. So go take your girlfriends, have a great time, throw some popcorn <laughs> at it, you know. Yeah. And it's great. Awesome. Yeah.
Yeah. Okay. I, like I love that. it. Okay. Is it Aloft or Aloft? Aloft. Aloft. Rated R is your last one. I don't know anything about this. This movie. is an indie film. It's opening Friday, okay. and it stars Jennifer Connelly, and it's an interesting story about. It's an indie film. She's like uh, a mother who becomes estranged from her son at a young age, and 20 years after not seeing each other, they reunite. Sadly for the film, that doesn't happen until towards the end, and it's um, sort of anticlimactic. Is it kind of dark? It's extremely dreary and bleak and mm. sad and depressed and slow moving. So I was oh, very bored throughout the film. That's tough. Yeah. It's like two movies in one, would you yeah, say? Yeah, it is sort of like, you know, his story and her story and there's flashbacks and it doesn't really set it up very well, the convention of that. And a lot of it went over my head because there's these metaphors and it's a oh. complex film and complex films, if you pay, pay very close attention, you should still be able to follow very clearly what's happening. This film's not like that. There's these metaphors that the film ended and it still doesn't make any sense to me. So this is a skip it. Skip you know, it. I, it's, that, why is that enjoyable? In, in a film, no. you know? Okay, okay so now why are you wearing the yellow? We're out of time. Yes. Say. We gotta know. It's the Minions movie. Yay. Finally, you know, after Despicable Me, so this is sort of a prequel for the Minions. <laughs> You do a great impression. <laughs> you kind yeah. of look like a minion, right? Thank you. With the blonde hair. But uh, we, we have a great movie club this Tuesday, and we're giving away some fun things to the families that are going to be coming. There's Cute. this great giveaway prize pack with a bag and a beach ball and a you know squeezable minion. And the tickets this time are for four. You get a family oh, nice. four pack. So only enter to win this time if you are a party of four. Okay. And the, the screening is this Tuesday, July 7th at oh. 7 p.m. So you can go to my website to win this prize. But that's a cute little keychain with a minion on it. Mom. I mean, the, there you go. I you made know. it a necklace. You are so creative, and it matches your outfit. Yes, cute. I like that. That's adorable. I love this little keychain. Right. How cute is that? So cute. cute. Yeah, Great shot I love there. it. Good stuff. And you can like Ryan J on Facebook, <laughs> follow him on Twitter, and for his full movie reviews, check out his website, RyanJReviews.com. I always wonder if he'd come to your house and do a fashion consult. Oh, why not? I love that. <laughs> He's like, I'm oh. available for that. Yeah. <laughs> for ben Affleck and Jen broke up. You know. <laughs> All the celebrity Tips stuff. Tips negotiable. <laughs> yep. I like yeah. that. Good right. stuff, Ryan. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs>